What's up, everybody? Zip Zap 12 here. Welcome back to another episode of Storm 4 Beginner to Master Tutorials. Pretty much the series where I teach you guys everything I know about the single character in this game and try to get you better with that single character. Today's character we actually have is Roshi the Jinjuriki. And actually, like, a lot of you guys actually wanted me to do more of the Jinjuriki because um, they don't get a lot of spotlight most of the time. And I, I actually enjoy using the Jinjuriki in this game that's not like Gar Naruto Killer B because those my favorites but some of the lesser known jerseys like Yagra, Yukito, Han, all those type of characters so I'm probably going to do those and get them out of the way but today's character I'm going to be doing is Roshi and Roshi has a very different play style compared to pretty much really anyone in this game he actually has sort of a hit and run aspect and kind of just repeats that process and uh, once we go through this video and we see all the skills, you can see that how they all kind of complement each other. Like they all kind of, kind of go in this little circle and they all work really well together. But if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more beginner tutorials. Make sure to tell me who else you want to use for the very next episode. But without further ado, let's get started. Alright, so let's get started. So, um, there's one thing I want to mention before we actually go to the combos with this character. Roshi has one of the shortest range in the entire game, actually. Like, his hitboxes are not that big, and his range for his hands or his hitboxes are not that big. Like, he, he has very short range, and he does not move up a lot. Um, he kind of stays in the same place. And that's really bad. Like that, that that's really bad in this game because you need range to get yourself places. And the fact that you you will get out prior prioritized and you get outranged by a lot of people in this game. So you're going like that just wanna mention that. Like that's gonna be a big disadvantage for Roshi, but we're gonna learn how to get past that. So now let's actually go up into the combo. So here's the neutral combo. Boom. Very pretty. I love that neutral combo. One of my favorites. Here's his down combo. There we go. And here is his up combo. Along this arrow combo. Okay, the arrow combo just missed. Let's try that one more time. Boom. Alright, so let's get started with some of his combos. So, um, yeah, pretty much Roshi has short range. Um, I already mentioned that. Uh, the neutral combo is basically the fastest tool that he has. It, like, it's extremely it fast in Roshi's uh, arsenal. So you're gonna be using this the most. It also goes to strike back. So yeah, you're gonna be using this pretty frequently if you want some quick damage. So for, like, for example, if they have subs and the subs are regenerating, you maybe wanna go with this one because you're trying to get some damage off before they actually get four subs back. So yeah. And now we go to down combo. The down combo, literally the strongest tool in this kit, takes around a second and a half longer to dish out, and it also goes to strike back. So, not many combos actually go into strike back besides the neutral combo. So a down combo, a strong combo that actually goes to strike back is pretty rare, and is is really utilized with Roshi. Once we talk about more of his juicy, it's like it, it really does complement. Uh, Roshi and I really do recommend you using a strike back with Roshi because Roshi is a strike back But I really recommend you using a strike back like Naruto with Roshi because he has a lot of strike back um, Materials he has, he has a lot of materials to strike back his throw his combos uh, His jutsus like they all live to strike back and you, get, you just get that extra bit of damage plus combos um, Up combo actually has a guard break pill right there a, a guard break pill cancel pretty much when he flips with the opponents Literally just garbage pill right when they fall down and they literally can't do anything about it. There you go. You're going to delay a little bit, but it does work. Let me try one more time. Oh my goodness. I got to time that perfectly. There you go. So yeah, it does take a little bit of timing to get used to, but eventually you will get used to it. Of course, of course. Um, his combos aren't that in depth. There's not like any infinite combos, not like any tag that I could utilize. Like he's just kind of a basic character. 
this air combo sucks don't use it all right let's go on to the tilt and the growl so uh the tilt and growl are a little bit more better um about roshi so let's go with the grab first so the growl again the short range and it's because the short range growl it sucks like it's it's pretty bad but um it's very quick well it's, it's very quick for roshi because it looks like a regular attack which kind of throws you off and i don't think a lot of people know how to fight against roshi because there's just a lot of characters and no one knows how to fight against them so here's the guard cancel for uh when they're blocking right there so it's the fourth hit of the grab i mean the fourth hit of the fourth of the neutral combo pretty much when he when he forms the lava fist right there so you want to grab right there and this is for if they're blocking or if they're uh not blocking there you go so let's try with not blocking so this is good just for getting damage because it really links up perfectly Plus, it looks amazing. Like, look at that. Plus, it's a strike back as well. Again, like, I recommend you use a strike Roshi because it's grab with a strike back and it's just an extra bit of damage. So, yeah. Oh, I, let me try do it one more time. There we go. And boop them out. All right, let's move on. All right, so uh, let's go with his tilt. So, his tilt is the one out, really good outstanding thing that he has that's in, like, his um, base arsenal, like, this tilt is pretty good so there's not many traps in this game especially a trap that is for a tilt i know kushuna has one i know aruka has it for a jutsu i think he has a counter which is pretty uh pretty uh, uh rare and then we have roshi and then i don't think anyone else has a trap or a counter or something like that so he's again really rare like this is a pretty unique tool so this jutsu literally just places down like a fire pit for about mm, seven seconds and if they get knocked into it they're gonna get popped up just like that and it actually gives you a bit of breathing room to retreat or to comp link up into that uh link up into that uh um pop up so um uh the unfortunate thing about this tilt is that it's very slow and you literally just can't move like i'm trying to move right now and it's not working so you basically just can't follow up with it with Roshi, but all those weaknesses can all those weaknesses can be uh, exploited by just switching your character. So basically, you can just set a, down a trap. They get run into it. You can literally just party around with Naruto, and you have protection. Or if they get into it, you can just turn it to your character and get a combo off. So pretty good. It's a pretty good tilt, especially for defense. It's, it's ooh super good. Super good indeed, like you just place this thing down, you have 7 seconds of protection. Now I wish it was longer, but that, you know, it can't ask for everything. So yeah, I, it's only mainly use, I recommend for defensively, just because it's literally a trap, switch a different character, and you can literally just get your subs back. Like this is 7 seconds, and they can't touch you, and if they do touch you, you can just, well, block and retreat, because they have to uh, regain like their, their, their posture. So like they're 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 trying if, if they're very aggroing you like with a pressure character like Itachi or B or Neji or something, like you place this thing down and you have just a little bit of protection. Like this is kind of the pressure counter right here. It's, it's pure protection. So yeah, this is pretty good. Very good for getting yourselves back. So let's go and move on to the juicy. So um, now we're gonna start talking about why Roshi is kind of a hit and run character. So. Roshi's Jutsu uh, generically is the Lava Style Scorching Rocks Jutsu and this is pretty much like a mid-range Jutsu that does average damage and burn damage and it doesn't go half it doesn't go that far it goes by half ugh, not even half screen really yeah it's, it's it doesn't go that far and this Jutsu actually has a gigantic hitbox because he actually uses like five rocks in one so this is a huge hitbox that just launched at the opponent. So, um, he basically has two jutsus that he mostly has, and we're gonna talk about each one. It's this one and the Fire Style Fireball Jutsu. So, I did multiple tests for like, a, I don't know, an hour, trying to figure out what's the difference between these two jutsus. So this one is slightly faster than the Fireball Jutsu. And because of that, he actually can link it up to one of his combos right there just one of his combos so the fifth hit of the neutral combo where he uh shoots out the, the lava fist 
you can instantly cancel it into the lava style and it's fast enough to get that much damage off so let me see so i'm going to turn off the storm gauge and i'm gonna retry it and let's see how much damage it does without the strike back so that did around 40 percent right there like this is no joke this is why this is why i say that doris is kind of a really good hit and run character because that did a lot of burst damage in the span of three seconds like not even a Nutri combo or down combo did that much damage so like this is where roshi sells the his juice is like boom and let's add a strike back in there so let's add, turn on the storm gauge restart let's add a strike back in there let's see what we can do boom and guess what let's add one more in there boom so right there if you get that if you get that damage off right there that's literally like 70 percent of a green bar just right there so yeah this is what you mostly want to be doing with roshi you don't want to really rely on your combos too much you want to be using everything else as utility which is his cancel into his grab uh the cancel into your fireball and you want to be using this cancel as much as possible because this is a good short burst damage and they have to sub it or they're taking damage because it's not like um it's not like it, it lingers and it, it it lasts for a long time no this is burst damage if they don't sub it right now they're going to take a bunch of damage just straight up so like it, it forces them to sub and like there's no bit there's no uh bad thing about not using this cancel because it's very fast like it's low key like got it got like no like um end lag on it like it's it's still pretty good so use it while they're blocking still pretty good whoop i did that wrong there you go and you can just move right out of it like this is a pretty good juice it's good for breaking guards as well like this is pretty good like it's it's pretty good like he can do a lot of stuff with this fireball now of course he's using chakra so you're just gonna have to like you know um keep a measure of how much uh energy you use but that's just like um just with the character so now let's go into his ultimate juicy cancel so he has kind of like three of them but i'm just going to show you uh two of the most optimal ones that i found the first one is this one oh not that one about to cancel to ultimate juicy let me try as i mess up come on come on oh he's getting burned okay come on all right, yeah, he's legitimately, he's just legitimately getting burned. There you go. Let's do it one more time. There you go. So this is the easy cancel, pretty much. Man, that looks so cool. And let's go with the other ultimate juicy cancel. This is the one I recommend you guys all use or at least try to use because this eventually does more damage. Oh, I got dodged towards Naruto. Let's do it one more time. There we go. Got it. Jeez. So it's this was kind of difficult because it requires timing and you have to dodge towards Naruto, but you get you get a bunch more damage off. So let me demonstrate one more time. There we go. Let's turn the health gauge off. Hopefully I can get it. There we go. Got it. First try. Let's go. Let's see how much damage it does. There you go. So it does pretty much like 90% of a green bar, which is pretty good. So it's 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 a good uh, cancel. So pretty much you have to dodge out of the combo, which the combo is the up combo, the last right before the last hit, where he kind of pops him up, and then you want to dodge four towards Naruto, and then use uh, the ultimate jutsu uh, right afterwards. And it, it does take like timing because you do kind of have to like delay just a little bit, but then you then you'll get it. All right, so now I'm gonna go back out and go to the fire side juice. So I'll be right back. All right, so I am back, and this time I have the fire style fireball juice as my GC. So the only difference between this one and the Scorching uh, Rocks Lava Jutsu is that the Fire Style um, 
it's slower and it goes farther. Yeah, that, that's actually it. They do the same amount of damage. Um, they do not have the same cancels. The, the scorching lots uh, scorching lava rocks. I'm just gonna call it that. I, I don't forgot the technique. The scorching lava rocks is pretty much uh, is slightly faster. So if I try to do the same cancel as I did with uh, the scorch. Uh, Scorching lava rocks. I, I le legit forgot what that jutsu was called. Wow, it won't work You can literally just guard it so so like you, you probably ask yourself why would you use the fire style so Pretty good reason. Uh, you can use it in the air That is the kind of big factor right here. Um, it's a kind of different play style, but it's just It's a different way of doing his play style, but it's still pretty good. So there's only one other person that can actually use a fire style in the air, and that's actually Tachi. So Roshi, like using this, is very rare. Like you know, only one other person can do this. Like this is amazing. So, um, the way how you want to do this, since you can't actually use the uh, fifth hit of the neutral combo to burst the enemy down, you're going to have to use well mostly your strike backs at this point. So the best strike back to use is the down combo. And then you can use it right afterwards in the air. And this is really good just for support. Like this as support is way better than the scorching sc scorching lava rocks jutsu. Just because like this can be used in the air, scorching lava rocks doesn't go full screen. And that's mostly just being used for Roshi. That's how he gets most of his damage. But this using Roshi is mostly good for support and good for actually like, well, kind of spamming because it's a way better projectile. Let me see Naruto. There we go. It is a way better support actually so just imagine like just doing this getting the strike back off and getting the fire style off right afterwards like that just that's big damage right there but that's really the main advantage of this jutsu is the fact that he can just use the fire style in the air that's kind of it and the fact that this goes full screen so it's basically just better use for supports because um if you have the fire style, you kind of cancel out Roche, one of Roshi's biggest tools, which is the cancel into his jutsu. Like that's that's really his biggest thing. And he does not have another cancel like that with the fire style because it's too long. So the scorching lava rocks is pretty good. So you're trading him DPS for a better support essentially because the fire style in the air can carry you into aerial battles and it can be used super quickly. Like it can be used super quickly to cut to actually cover you. Like this is super good. So yeah, that's pretty much the easy way of doing it. Like if you want DPS with Roshi and do most of the stuff, do the scorching lava rocks, and that's the one I recommend you to do most of the time. But if you just kind of want the range and you want support, a better support, then you should do the fire style. It it it, it kind of makes sense. Alright, so now we're gonna do the uh, team ultimate jutsu, which I almost forgot to do with Roshi. I low-key forgot he had one. Man, underrated team ultimate jutsu right here. Man, not bad. I love that ultimate jutsu. Play it all the time. All right, so now let's do the overview of Roshi. So Roshi is, again, a hit and run character. Literally just uh, get some damage off, some quick damage off, and then kind of just run away and conserve subs. That's kind of his thing. His main weakness is literally his range. Like, you once you use Roshi, you'll start to find out that you start to get out prioritized by a bunch of stuff. So you're going to use, like, other tools. So one of his big tools for actually getting in most of the time you just... Um, is his, uh, well, actually, yeah, he doesn't have a tool to actually get in. He just got to use it randomly. Like, his, he got good combos, but you don't focus on his combos too much. That's kind of his biggest weakness. You mainly want to use his tilt and his jutsu, which I recommend the Scorching Lava Rocks jutsu because that's where he gets his burst damage from. Um, yeah, that's what I really recommend. And also, his grab is also pretty useful because Lily just confirmed some quick damage off. Boom. If you have a strike back, link, up, link that mess up to a strike back and get another combo off. Either a fire style or a lava rock jutsu. Get some more damage off if they're not prepared for it. 
and you basically just want to keep the opponent on your on their toes like you don't don't go in there do not go in there unless you have to you kind of just want to keep the opponent at bay probably get some hits in go back out use your tilt with different character just back to roshi and then kind of just rinse and repeat like you want you want to keep the opponent on their toes and try to keep that pressure character off you and just get as much whittling damage as possible like that that juice is gonna save you because especially like if they have for example um if they have like one sub or something they're not gonna want to sub at least a good narc player would not want to sub that one sub so you can literally just use this and literally just use the cancel that i told you and get instant 40 percent damage right there and kind of just keep whittling them down with bombs and stuff and jutsus because you can literally just use the jutsu and it has little to no lag the scorching lava rock jutsu and yeah you're good like he has, roshi's a different play style but anyways let's go on to the awakening now all right the awakening is sun goku himself all right so let's go with the combo so the combo if i can hit, hit naruto let me try it one more time boom boom there you go not that good of a combo honestly here's his unblockable attack here is his tilt, and here is his uh, left and right triggers, and here is his Jutsu. So I'm not going to lie, um, I am not the biggest fan of the Jinjuriki uh, Awakenings. I think they're low-key kind of the worst, big Awakenings, because they don't do a lot of damage and they have the biggest hitbox, so they just get hit most of the time. So. I would actually recommend you not to awaken with Roshi most, like most of the time. But if you were to do it, I always say just get use like a big awakening. Just try to get as much damage off as possible because this is a really bad awakening in my opinion. And also just a good strategy, an alternate strategy, is to spam out Tell Beast Bombs because this Tell Beast Bomb is huge. Like some for some reason the OG Jinjutikis, their Tell Beast Bomb is huge and is very fast apparently. Like it's 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 very fast hard to dodge so like that's a legitimate strategy you literally just spam and tell beast bombs if you want to go in there and get some damage you can literally just keep doing this but beware you are big and you will probably get hit twice so yeah you're going to need to take it easy uh his left and right triggers is okay it can be used to go in it doesn't go that far though so like i really wish that it actually done something but it doesn't do it really anything but yeah, that's pretty much Roshi. He's he's a solid mid-tier character. It's, it's the way that you play him. And I don't think a lot of people know how to play Roshi. But that's what I'm here for. I'm pretty much here to help you get better with your character. That's kind of the description of the video. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Joseph12. And I'll see you guys next time.